This time I will take a look at a card game called Red 7. It's a game for two to four players. It's for the ages 9 plus. It takes about five to 30 minutes to play, depending on what version of the game you are playing. The game comes with three different levels, a basic, an advanced, and an experienced version. I will teach the basic rules of the game. And the basic rules you normally only play for about five minutes, not much more for one game. Let's take a look at how the game is played. And here we have Red Seven. The game consists of 49 cards, seven different colors, with the values of one to seven in each color. At the start of the game, you will shuffle the cards and deal seven cards to each player, and you will deal out one face-up card to each player's palette. The rule at the beginning of the game is that highest card will wins. So right now, the person with the six over here would be the winner. And the lowest card you have, the red is the strongest color, and violet is the weakest color. So in this case, we have a dark blue, at the indigo, and we have an orange four. So this indigo four over here is the lowest card, and that will be the start player for the game the person with the lowest card. In the game, you have three things you can do. You can play a card to your palette, and, and you have to be winning with the rule that is currently active. So I, in this case, this player over here, he could play a six with the value of light blue, or green, or yellow, or up to red. Or he could play a seven to beat the six over here and be the strongest player at the active at the current rule. You can always also choose to change the rule and then be the winner at the rule that you changes it to. Or you can play a card to your palette and change the rule, so you would be playing two cards. There are seven rules in the game. We have the red, which is the starting rule. The highest card wins. Then we have orange, most of one number wins. Then we have yellow, most of one color wins. And the green, most even cards wins. And the blue, most different colors wins. And then indigo, most cards in a row wins. And the last we have most cards below four wins. So this means that This player over here, he can choose to play a card to the active to the active rule and be the best at that rule. So he can choose this orange seven, or he could actually also choose a six that is that is higher than the dark blue six. He could choose the yellow or the orange six. Um, he might say, I'll choose the orange six and put this card down. Now he is currently winning the rule out here. He has the highest uh, card in play. Then it would be the next player's turn. And he could play the red six or he could play the seven. And now he has a lot of red cards. You have to really consider how you want to um, use the cards that you have been dealt. You have to kind of put a strategy in how you want to use your cards. In this case, I would properly play this card with the highest card. I want to get rid of some of my red cards because I'm not sure this seven would be the highest card. Then it would be next player's turn, and he has very low cards, so he has to think about something else. Now we can see here, he can't beat the six out here, or the red six out here. So he would probably have to change the rule to the highest card below four. So he can change the rule to highest card below four, and then he would have to play a card, because at the moment nobody is winning at this rule. 
Uh, I think he would play the three here. And then the next player, now the winning is most cards below uh, four. He has a, a orange free, so he could place this card and then be winning because the orange free is higher than the green free. And then it would be this player's turn and he actually has a free in, in red, so he will play this one. And we will go back to the next player here, and he could play this free here. And then the turn will go to the next player, and we will continue like this until a player can't play anything to change the rule, so he will be winning at a rule, or he can't play a card to the active rule, so he will be winning. At some point, someone he, he can't change the rule or he can't play anything to the active rule, then he will be out and he will just turn over his palette cards. They are no longer, they, they aren't active anymore. And the other players, they will continue. And this is how the game is played until you have one person left. And that person would be the winner of Red 7. I will set up the game and make a playthrough with my daughter Line, so you can get a better feeling of how the game is played. Line, you have the lowest card, so you will start. I sure will. <laughs> At the moment, I am winning the hand with my seven. If Line had an orange seven or a red seven, she could beat my seven. So I'm gonna play most cards below four. And play out my yellow three. Yes, so blue three is a lower color than yellow, so I can't play that one. So I have to change the rule. I think I will change it to most of one number. We both have only you know, we both only have one number, but my seven is higher than Lina's five. Okay, so I have to basically just put out one as I already have. So I just put out one more five. And then you have okay. two fives and I only have one seven. So yes, here you So I am in the lead. And I think I will play my seven. So I have the most of one number. Mm, so now I have to change the rule because I no longer have most of one number and I don't have one more five. Mm -hmm. So I'm changing it to most cards below three. No four. Yeah. And you have the three and I have none. And I can't win at that rule, um, but I can change the rule to. I, I, but I can change the rule to most cards in a row. So I'll play this one. We both only have one card in a row, but I have the highest card, so I'm currently winning with this rule. So now I'm gonna take my four, so I have a row of three, four, five. So you have three in a row, and I only have one. Oh dear. I had a plan, but I can't use that one. I can only get up to two cards in a row, so I have to do something else. I can change to this one. I will change to most of one number. Okay, so I'm now going to change it to most even cards because I have a four down and she doesn't have any even cards. Oh boy, I thought I was, I didn't have anything to do, but now I have. I can actually play my six 
because it's higher than Lina's form, and then I have the highest even card. And now I only have one card left, and it's an even card, so I can put it down here. Yes, you have two even cards, and I only have one. So if I can play a card now, then I will win. If I can't, then Lina will win. I can play this card, most of one color. I have two cards, Lina. She also has two cards of one color, but my seven is higher than her five. So in this case, I win with seven. And that is how you play Red 7. At the moment it is our favorite game to play when we are playing quick games and if we don't have a lot of time, then it's Red 7 that we'll be playing. Otherwise we would play... Love Letter. Yes, we have played a lot of Love Letter. Love Letter Batman, the regular Love Letter, a lot. Mm -hmm. And we really enjoy that game as well. But at the moment it is Red 7 that is our favorite game when we are playing small, quick games. What do you think of the game, Line? I think it's a fun little game where you have to think a lot of strategy. Mm -hmm. Where you can't just play a card, you need to think the whole thing through. Yeah, you kind of have to think ahead. Mm -hmm. what, and, and how you can uh, uh, take most advantage of the cards you have been dealt. So I think each game is kind of different because you will have different cards and yeah. different strategies in the game. So uh, I think it's a neat game. So if you like a quick game and it's a good game, you can uh, have with you when you travel. You can play it on an airplane or in a bus or mm. if you have a little table. And I think it's a very good game and it's a thinky game. It's it's not just an easy game. Mm. You have to use your brain in this game, and I I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's very funny. It definitely have thumbs up from me. And me. Red 7. <laughs> so if you like quick games and you like games where you have to think a little bit, then it might be that this game could also be for you. <laughs>